Number one, supine. Number one, four, tactile and visual body exploration with hands and eyes. Tactile and visual body exploration with hands and eyes, hands to knees. The therapist places both hands laterally on the baby's trunk and the pelvis with thumbs under the baby's sides. The therapist flexes the baby's hips with his hands as he applies downward traction with his hands, lifting the baby's pelvis slightly and places it on his body. The therapist encourages the baby to play with the hands on the knees, incorporating the baby's vision with the activity. Hands to legs. The therapist applies downward traction to elevate the baby's pelvis, then maintains the traction on the trunk with one hand and places his other hand on the baby's legs, guiding them into flexion until they come into the baby's visual field. Hands to feet. The therapist places both of his hands on the baby's legs near the knees. With thumbs under the knees, the therapist flexes the baby's hips and lifts the pelvis slightly from the floor, then plays with the baby's hands on the legs and the feet, activating the baby's visual gaze shifting as the baby's looks from one foot to the other. Precautions. Number one, don't flex the thoracic spine. Number two, maintain the elevation of the pelvis. Number three, don't force any movement. If the baby resists the movement, reduce your pressure. Component goals, elongation of spinal extensors, activation of head, neck, and the trunk flexors, shoulder flexion with elbow extension, hip flexion with knee flexion, hip flexion with knee extension, hand on body blade to decrease grasp reflex and increase active grasp with various shapes. Downward visual gaze, proposable shifting of visual gaze. Functional goals, number one, reaching of hands and the vision to various body parts for body awareness and the body exploration. Number two, reaching in supine. Number three, eye movement for development of visual skills.